Hello and welcome to Upside Daily. This podcast will empower you with knowledge and revelation to live as a city changer. I'm your host, Ioannis Dekas, and we've been chatting over the last week about the power of identification with Christ. Now, this daily post can be accessed on my Facebook page uh, or your favorite podcast channel. Just search, search for the Upside Daily podcast. With the coronavirus still bringing much disruption to our lives and many people going through crisis in different ways, over the last week or so, I've personally been confronted with my own understanding of how identified I see myself in Christ. And that's why these daily podcasts don't just come from an understanding of something that I've learned, but it's really deeply birthed from the deep place of experience and my own personal walk with God. Today, I want to talk to you about only the blueprint could validate our design. A few evenings ago, Sheree, myself and one of our boys uh, watched some Netflix. And on Netflix, there was an episode of a program that spoke about operating in the womb. It was an absolutely fascinating program. It told the story of a surgeon who came from Cyprus and then was exposed to operating techniques that have now become standard for people to operate a little baby whilst it is still in the womb. And there was one moment in the program where this surgeon made this comment and said that as he enters the womb, obviously through microscopic surgery, and finds his way into the mouth of the little baby, right at the back of the baby's throat, there are these little nodes that actually lead him all the way down into the stomach and the innermost part of this little baby. And he makes this comment and he says, God put this pattern there for me to follow so that I can know where I needed to do the surgery. And I was gobsmacked. I was fascinated by the intricate detail with which God had created us and actually known certain things way ahead of time. That that really speaks into our understanding that you and I were identified in Christ before the fall. You see, God associated us in his son, Jesus Christ, before the foundation of the world. In other words, our identification with Jesus Christ did not come after the fall. God initially identified man in Christ even before the creation. He saw in his son the potential of many brethren. It's like looking at a seed. You know, you can look at that seed just for the pure notion of thinking this will produce, you know, an apple tree or whatever. Or you can look at a seed with the potential of a whole orchard coming out of that seed. And that's how God looked at his son. He saw his son becoming the master copy of the whole human race. He desired that through his son, he would see many sons. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4, this whole thought is underlined so deeply, where the Bible says, And he chose us to be his very own, joining us to himself even before he laid the foundation of the universe. Because of his great love, he ordained us so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with an unstained innocence. You see, the fall wasn't the place where God started thinking about our association in Christ. This was an eternal purpose that God had designed. As a matter of fact, God's eternal purpose was always for man to enjoy that which his son had enjoyed and is enjoying. To enjoy that place in the bosom of the Father, that eternal and essential place of blessedness that we find in God. Again, this is echoed for us in Romans chapter 8, where the apostle Paul writes, he says, we know that all good, all things work together for good for those who are loved by God, to those who are called according to his purpose, for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed into the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. You and I have discovered God's 
purpose for us. And that purpose is to accommodate the same place as his son accommodates. Just think about that for a moment. You know, when you start considering that, uh, it, 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 it starts messing with your mind because God desires that you and I accommodate no other place than that which his son accommodates. God does not want us to live in fear or in trepidation or in confusion or in, you know, inferiority. He desires that we see how precious and valuable we are to him because of his son that is precious and valuable to the father. Can I encourage you, when you understand the relationship in the place of the son, you will understand something of the place that you can accommodate. And that's why Jesus was the only blueprint that could validate our design in creation. That is why Jesus had to die. That is why when the fall of man came, no one else could prove the design or prove the success of the design except the master copy. And that is Jesus. Now we are grown together. We are identified in Christ. I cannot tell you how many scriptures in the New Testament use these little terms, with Christ or with him or in Christ or in him. You see, because God still loved us with such a great love that we discover how rich in compassion and mercy he is. Even when we were dead and doomed in our many sins, he united us into the very life of Christ. He raised us up and then we ascended with him into the heavenly realms. Jesus came to validate our humanness. He came to show us what it looks like when a human being discovers the space and the place that we can accommodate in the presence of God. This was his plan. This was his plan for my life. This was his plan for your life. One of the early church fathers wrote these simple words. He said, the glory of God is man fully alive. That's what he desires for you. Thank you for joining me on Upside Daily today. Uh, if you wanna connect more, you can check out our website, doxadeo.church. It's the Doxadeo online campus. And tomorrow I'll be chatting about Frankenstein Christianity. It's going to be another great challenge on discovering the power of identification with Christ.